Hey guys, today I'm talking about the new Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. This is 34 Canadian dollars or 29 US dollars and you get 0.33 ounces or 9.4 grams in the tube. The packaging is all gold. You have the gold carton and then you have the triangle mirrored gold packaging. This is beautiful, but my fingerprints get all over it. Just a heads up. So I'm going to apply this. I'll do a little wear test, show you how it wears throughout the day. And then at the end, I'll summarize my thoughts and give you like the pros and cons. Okay, here are my eyelashes before without anything on them. So I'm just gonna take one coat, and put it on this eye here. So here's one coat on this eye. It looks kind of clumpy. I've used this a few times now. Every time I apply it, it just looks not, it's not a smooth application. It's a pretty, it's a pretty dry formula and I really usually like dry formulas. I feel like they're easy to work with. My lashes stick less together. Like it's easier to get like individualized lashes with a drier formula. But this is just a little bit too dry, especially for right off the bat it makes me think that it's going to dry up really fast in the tube and it'll be useless pretty soon it's not totally clumpy i tried to avoid that but it's still the lashes look kind of fuzzy and just they're not smooth you know okay this eye was way better this is how it usually is the first time no idea what happened to this eye i don't know it's atrocious um, this is what it usually is like on the first application. This is still a little bit clumpy, but definitely not as much as this side. And the length on this side is way better. Beautiful length on that side. Okay, I was able to build up that length with a second coat. My lashes are not smooth or very tapered on this side. You can see they kind of look like fuzzy. I don't know how to explain it. Not overly clumpy, but the dry formula did kind of ball up in some areas and make it look a bit fuzzy and a tad bit clumpy. Okay, here's both eyes with two coats. I've used this for a few days now and I think this is the worst my lashes have looked out of all the days. <laughs> if you can see on this side, the mascara has just kind of balled up on the ends. My lashes just look kind of messy and thick and not in a good way. They also look very uneven today for some reason. This eye doesn't have as much product on. I did do the same amount on each side, but it just didn't take to this eye as well today for whatever reason. This wand is really nice to get on the bottom lashes though. I don't, lately I haven't been using mascara on my bottom lashes, but for the sake of this video, I'll just show you. All right, finally, here's two coats on the top lashes, one coat on the bottom lashes. So this has been on almost eight hours now. My lashes have definitely like drooped down. They've kind of lost their curl and their liftedness that they had before, which is unfortunate, but, but there's no smudging and there's no flaking. That's pretty much the only two things I look for after a long day, so that's good news. In the beginning, I thought it could be flaking because the formula is so dry, but that hasn't been an issue so far. Hopefully it stays that way. Maybe as it gets drier, it could be worse, but fingers crossed. And to summarize, I love the length. It's beautiful. The volume is there too, but it's just a really messy look that I'm not down for. It just, it balls up on the ends. It's clumpy. My lashes look just raggedy, but like from far away, it doesn't look too bad. They look really black and really lengthened and definitely volumized. From a distance, it's pretty good. If you get up close though, you can see it's just a bit too messy for my liking. I think that's just from how dry the formula is. It says it's weightless and it's buildable, I don't think it's that buildable. I have other mascaras that are way more buildable. If you build this up, it will just get progressively worse. My Lancome Miss Your Big, I can build that up forever. The CoverGirl Flourish Mascara, I can build that up forever and they look amazing with every single coat. This one, 
two coats max for sure two coats max there's no touching this up even two coats looks worse than one coat like another huge huge bonus is no smudging no flaking um, I've never really had a huge problem with flaking with mascaras, but definitely smudging can be a bit of an issue. Um, especially with my new job, I'm like looking kind of upwards at a screen and my lashes are just sitting against my skin for eight hours a day. And that's bound to leave some smudging no matter what the mascara, but I'm always very shocked when I go to the mirror and there's nothing. Like, you know how you can just feel it? You're like, oh, I feel like my mascara is smudged, I gotta like wipe it off. I'm like trying to wipe it off, but it's there's nothing, which is actually really cool. If you go to the Sephora app and they have their little statistics that they do with their studies, it says 100% noticed, no smudging. That's pretty cool. However, with that, it's a little bit harder to remove than most of my other mascaras, like my Miss Your Big. I'm gonna just keep talking about that mascara. I can remove that really easy. A drop of water and it's like sliding around it's off but this I got to work a little harder to get the mascara off it's not stubborn it's not like waterproof mascara like it'll come off but just not as easy as my other mascaras do I'm definitely gonna keep using this till it runs out like it's not that horrible that I have to just stop it entirely it looks good from far away and it doesn't smudge two really good things it's not too often that I have people very close to my face and staring at my eyelashes that I have to be self-conscious about it. It's just really not my favorite look. And for $34, I've I've got other ones that I like better. For example, Monsieur Big, if you uh, haven't caught on to that yet. <laughs> I wanted to love this, I really did. I mean, anything in a packaging like this, I really wanna love. <laughs> um, it's just too clumpy and too dry of a formula for me. So, it's unfortunate. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.